right, you guys asked for free training and you are getting free training. Wow. This video is going to have at least one to two months worth of training that you can do to get free hands-on cybersecurity experience and get technical projects onto your resume. And I guarantee that at least one of these trainings will be completely new to you. So be sure to watch till the end of this video to get the most out of these resources. And please consider giving this video a like if you find this video helpful so that it can reach a wider audience. Okay, so number one on this list is cybersecurity simulations. Now you've heard me talk about Forage, but there is another cybersecurity simulation company called Clicked. Now this is also a free cybersecurity job simulation platform, but the key differentiator between Clicked and Forage is that Clicked has different types of simulations that also go into two to three week sprints that you'll be able to work on as if you were actually working in a company working through a sprint. So it goes much farther than just a few hours of simulation training. This is full on deep dive training. And again, completely free. The job simulation that I want to highlight from Clicked is in partnership with IBM. They basically have hands-on training and learning programs but they also have live sessions for learning experiences taught by industry professionals on cloud security, packet sniffing, phishing analysis, advanced SQL, and a lot more. So job simulation is exactly what it sounds like. You basically go through a simulation. You basically go through a training acting as if you were working at that company, let's say in a security analyst role. And then you'll do the tasks that a typical security analyst will do in their job for that specific company. This is the best way to get hands-on learning because not only are you just learning the random skills or tools that you see online, but it's the specific tools that companies actually want to hire you for. And I believe Clicked also has shadowing sessions where, where you're not only doing the hands-on training that a security analyst may be doing on the job, but you're also watching and shadowing someone basically as if you were paired with a mentor to be able to follow them through their day or a specific job or a specific task and really getting an inside look into what they do on a day-to-day -day basis along along with the tools they use, the skills needed for the job, and just being able to interact with cybersecurity professionals who are already in the jobs that you want to be in. I'm telling you, free training has really gained so much momentum in the last few years. This option was not available a few years ago. So you'll get hands-on training, a cybersecurity job simulation, and live cybersecurity sessions, and you can watch replays if you miss it. So I would highly recommend checking them out. And of course, Forage is another option. They primarily provide job simulations that are a few hours long, but I do think that they're both great options to try out, especially as a complete beginner. The world is your oyster and you have so many different resources at your fingertips. I really wish that these were resources available to me five, six years ago when I was just starting out in cybersecurity. So take advantage of them. All right, number two is Accenture's Cyber Million. Basically, Accenture partnered with this company called Immersive Labs, and they've created free cybersecurity training, very hands-on, and it kind of reminds me of Hack the Box and Try Hack Me a little bit because you basically spin up a VM directly on their portal and you'll basically learn about a concept like network engineering, and then you can spin up a VM and do whatever the steps are for the labs to be able to complete that specific training. So it is very hands-on and backed by Accenture, who is also focusing on upskilling the cybersecurity work workforce and getting more cybersecurity talent into the workforce. This is a trend that you'll see a lot of larger companies like IBM, Accenture, even Microsoft and Amazon, they'll have some kind of free training or program or they'll partner with a third party e-learning platform and make these free resources and courses to be able to upscale the next generation of cybersecurity and tech talent. Personally, I'm really glad that companies are taking cybersecurity training to the next level, even with all the free resources out there. It's definitely not the same as companies who have billions of dollars that they can spend on helping upscale the workforce. And I believe Accenture's Cyber Million pledge comes to trying to scale up 1 million cybersecurity professionals to bring into the workforce. Reading their mission statement directly from their website, with the goal of filling more than 1 million cybersecurity jobs in the next decade, Cyber Million helps employment partners like Accenture recruit entry-level candidates who demonstrate provable cyber skills in the Immersive Labs platform. So not only are you getting free training, but Companies like Accenture are looking at how you're performing on those labs, on those trainings, and deciding whether or not they want to hire you for entry-level roles. This, I think, is kind of like the dream outcome for anyone who is trying to get into cybersecurity to be able to prove your skills on a free platform and get noticed by HR or hiring manager based on the skills that you're proving. This, I think, is going to be the way forward for a lot of hiring, and I'm really glad that companies are investing money into this. Our next up on this list is the Juniper Networks free IT training. And if you don't already know, Juniper Networks is one of the leading IT networking companies in the world, and they provide free training based on the career path that you're interested in. For example, if you go directly on their website, you'll see that there is a choose your career path option where you'll see different career paths like network engineer, data center engineer, security engineer, cloud engineer, and automation engineer. And when you open those specific modules, they'll also show you the training needed for those modules that you can just jump right in and do for free after you create a free account. 
And of course, not to mention that networking is one of the most important skills that you can learn, especially as you go further into your career. And of course, not to mention the average salary for a network engineer is $108,000 per year in the US. It'll also open a lot of opportunities for you, depending on whether or not you want to first go into IT or go into cybersecurity. Either way, learning the foundations of networking and network engineering is one of the best ways to help start your career as an entry-level professional. And once you complete the free training, you can earn a discounted voucher for 75% discount to get officially Juniper certified. So another win-win as a highly discounted certification to be able to add onto your resume. But even if you don't plan on getting certified, I would still highly, highly recommend going through their free training so that you can get those skills under your belt. And this training might even help you pass your other cybersecurity certifications like your CompTIA Security Plus or Network Plus. And if you're looking for a cybersecurity bootcamp, the one that I recommend is the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp that also has a job guarantee if you qualify. And basically, if you don't get a job within a certain amount of time after graduating from the bootcamp, you'll get your full tuition back. And they also help prepare you for the CompTIA Security Plus that has a comprehensive technical cybersecurity curriculum for anyone who is just starting out as a beginner. You don't need any previous experience in cybersecurity or in tech. You'll get one-on-one -on -one mentorship and career guidance with hands-on cybersecurity training and projects. If you're interested, you can also get $1,000 off the entire bootcamp using my code with Sandra and through the link in my description. And in today's digital landscape, securing your accounts is more crucial than ever, which is why I highly, highly recommend getting a password manager. And that is where Keeper Security comes in. Here's how it works. Your data is encrypted and decrypted on your device, not on Keeper servers or in the cloud. The keys to unlock your data comes from your master password, so your information stays safe because only you can decrypt it. If you need to share something from your vault, you can do it securely with Keeper's advanced encryption. With zero knowledge security, Keeper makes sure that your data is only accessible to you. And not to mention that zero knowledge is one of the safest ways to store your sensitive data, including credit cards, passwords, and even personal notes and files. Make your life easier with Keeper and get 50% off using my code with Sandra or try it for free with a 30-day free trial using a link in my description. You can check out the link below to learn more. All right, next up is the Microsoft Azure Security Training. Now, Microsoft also has foundational Azure training, so I would recommend starting there. That training itself is also free, and it's a great way to get familiar with Azure before diving into this course. But this course is specifically on Azure security. It's an intermediate course meant for security engineers where you'll cover managing identity and access management, secure networking, secure compute, storage, and databases, and managing security operations. This is a great course option if you're interested in cloud security or cloud security engineering. And the two biggest cloud providers are Azure and AWS. So I would recommend starting with one of those areas. Both cloud platforms have free training. So it's really up to you which one you want to focus on. I can also link the free AWS training down in my description below. But I do think this is going to be a well sought after role, especially as more and more companies are switching to cloud infrastructure and moving away from on-prem and data center. All right, next up on this list is Course Careers IT course specifically their free IT training. So if you haven't heard of Course Careers, they provide IT training that is taught by Josh Matacor, who is another YouTuber who started his career in IT before moving into cybersecurity. And he made this IT course to give you hands-on technical experience on Microsoft Azure, help desk ticketing, and Active Directory with lots of hands-on labs that you can also add onto your resume as technical projects. You can start off with the free IT training to decide whether or not the course is right for you. And if you're interested in starting a career in IT first, or if you're also using it as a way to get into cybersecurity later on in your career. You can also get $50 off the entire course if you do decide to enroll using the link in my description. The last but not least on this list is the ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity Certification Training. This is ISC2's equivalent to the CompTIA Security Plus, which is a very popular beginner cybersecurity training. You've most likely heard of it and I've talked about it multiple times in this video, but the CC certification is meant to also be entry level and they're providing a million vouchers to entry level cybersecurity professionals. So I would definitely hop on that if you haven't already started studying for your ISC2 certification. Not to mention that there's also overlap with the CompTIA Security Plus, so you can use this free training also as study prep for your CompTIA Security Plus. Now, this certification is definitely not as popular as the Security Plus yet, considering it is much newer, but IC2 is also the creator of the CISSP certification, which is arguably one of the most popular mid-level cybersecurity certifications out there. And if they're offering this training for free right now, along with a free exam voucher, then, then I would definitely take advantage of it right now because it's free. For anyone who is currently in the cybersecurity job market and looking for that first role in cybersecurity, or even if you're just in your early career, in my interview prep mastery course, I'll go over 
over all the resources that you need to prepare for the security design interview question, as well as of course, technical and behavioral interview questions for cybersecurity professionals, whether you're looking for a cybersecurity full-time role or a cybersecurity internship. The course also contains two cybersecurity mock interviews, one which is an example of me personally going through a cybersecurity interview, and then the second one will be your own mock interview to give you an idea of what to expect. You'll also receive all of my cybersecurity interview prep resources, career guides, roadmaps, as well as resume and cover letter templates. You can learn more about my interview prep mastery course using the link in my description. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful and you took away a few resources that you can use right away to be able to start your cybersecurity training and learning. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below or if you have more free resources that you would like to add to this list, feel free to share them. Also feel free to connect on LinkedIn and join our Discord channel to join more conversations around cybersecurity and career chats. If this video was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing as it really helps out the channel. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!